Hey, welcome back to another Today in History. Uh, today we're going to be going over August 19th of 1692, and um, this kind of correlates in with the Salem Witch Trials. Um, so in Salem, a province of Massachusetts Bay, five people, one woman, and four men, including a clergyman, were executed after being convicted of witchcraft. This is one of my favorite um, things to learn about just because it's intense, um, but let's jump right into this. So in spring of 1692, two little girls in the Salem Village uh, went out to the woods and they were playing and they came back and they started having like these weird symptoms and like convulsing, convulsing and um, they claimed to be possessed by the devil and accused several village women of being out in the woods and seeing them uh, doing things with the devil. And so mass panic happened. And so cases began to be heard. Uh, June of 1962 was actually when the first woman was hung um, and her name was Bridget Bishop. But the point of today was that five people were executed after their trials convened guilty verdicts of witchcraft. So, uh, by September, people actually came to their senses and learned that, hey, we're kind of wrong. So, all the guilty verdicts were annulled. Um, they were made to apologize to the family and be like, no, um, this person wasn't a witch. He's not damned to hell or she's not damned to hell. Um, and I did attempt to find the court documents that were actually uh, written during this time period, and I did find them, um, except they are transcribed, um, so somebody read them and put them into text, but they're so old that there are parts that are either too blurry to read or um, just, you know, you just can't make them out. Um, and so I will go ahead and leave the link in the description so you can go and look at uh, the court documents and see if you can figure out exactly what happened in the courtroom. Um, but the five that died today were George Burroughs, he was the clergyman, uh, Martha Carrier, George Jacobs Sr., John Proctor, and John Willard. One thing I do want to talk about that I did learn in upper level courses, um, I don't think it's confirmed yet, um, but the people that were accused of witchcraft, it kind of had a geographic correlation um, to where they lived. So for example, if you lived further out in the country and you weren't able to make church every Sunday, Wednesday, Saturday, every day, however many times a week they went to church, then you were more than likely going to be tried as a witch because you weren't going to church. And that was like a huge thing in Massachusetts. Um, so I honestly believe that there was a geographical correlation to the people that were tried for practicing witchcraft. But don't quote me on that. That's just my own personal input in there. Um, if you happen to have more information on that, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much again for making it to the end. Um, I hope you learned something that you didn't know before. Um, if there was any historical in your... Wow, I'm really bad at that word inaccuracies please let me know because i want to be as accurate as possible um the more you know and i hope you all have a great day and thank you so so much for the support bye